LabVIEW and NXT Part 6, Making Sub-VIs. When you have code that you want to use over and over, you can make a sub-VI. And we're going to make a sub-VI that will figure out how many degrees a wheel must turn to go a certain distance. So we need to know the wheel diameter and the distance that we want to drive. And then we want to find the answer, which should be a numeric indicator for how many degrees we need to turn. So you can put those on your front panel, and then we need to connect those blocks on the block diagram. First, we need to work with the diameter to find the circumference of the wheel. And the circumference of a circle is found by pi times the diameter. And there is even a pi constant in the numeric palette. So wheel diameter times pi, pi d. And just so we keep track of everything, I'm going to put the label on the multiply. And the answer from this multiplication is the circumference. Now we want to use this circumference. That's how far the wheel will go when it turns one time. And take the total distance that we want to drive and divide that by the circumference to know how many rotations of the wheel we need. Again, I'm going to show the label and label that answer to be the rotations. There are 360 degrees in each rotation, so if you want to know how many degrees it will be, we multiply the number of rotations by 360. So instead of finding building this code for each program, we're going to make a sub-VI where we can reuse it. Now, to turn this into its own sub-VI, its own block, go to the front panel and control click on the icon and we want to see which patterns we can have. It makes sense to use one with two on the left and one coming out on the right. Wire those to the numbers and to the controls that we have on our front panel. Then let's make our own picture for our block. Control click and edit icon. You probably want to delete the old picture and I usually put a border around mine so that we can see the edges of the block. Then I want to give it a good name so I'm going to call it Drive360 so we I remember it's about driving and degrees. And I can go back and draw a little degree sign in there. Alright, that's pretty much it. Just remember to save your work. Save it someplace good where you'll remember where it's at and where you won't have to move it. And now you have your own block that you can use in other programs. You can drag it into your own program. So let's open a new program. And I want my robot to drive a certain distance. So I need to go to the NXTIO complete to find the different options for the motor. There is a block drive distance which I want to use. And I also want to give it ports B and C since those are my two drive ports on my robot. I can keep the power the same and now this is where we want to put the distance in. Drag our block in, and you can see it ends up looking like the icon that we drew. 
and we're going to give that to the distance. The distance needs degrees. So I measured my wheel, found it to be two and an eighth, and then I wanted to drive, let's say, 12 inches. Now it's going to do all the work of telling the drive distance block how many degrees I need it to go. All right, let's test out, make sure it goes 12 inches. Let's double check it. Let's make it go six inches. Make sure you re-download re it. There it goes, six inches. And let's try it on a longer distance. Let's try three feet, which is the same as 36 inches. Measuring tape is three feet, and you can see that it goes out three feet. 